Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, so um, if we can settle down, because we're about to start. And um, if you find yourself here, first of all, you left a beautiful day outside to be here. So I want you to make sure you make it count. In other words, you're entering into the presence of the Most High God. And like one thing David says is, you know, he said, I was glad when they said, let us go into the presence of the Lord. So are you glad to be here? It doesn't matter whether you're, you know, you know working um, or whether you're here to be ministered to. You still have to make it count. So, you know, some of us might feel like, okay, we're here to minister to somebody. No, well, you're here to actually be ministered to yourself and then you can minister to others. Praise the Lord. So we're going to start with a, a quick opening prayer here. So, Father, Lord in heaven, we thank you because we're in your presence. Lord, we thank you because we are people. You said that we should bring the sacrifices of praise unto you. And that's why we're gathered here, Lord, just to give you praise. Because there is no one like you. There is no one to be compared like, uh, unto you. Lord, we thank you because this is, a, this is a big privilege. This is the greatest service we can do. Is just to come back and praise you because that is why we were created in the first place is to give you praise. Thank you, Lord, because you inhabit the praises of your people. Lord, we begin to call people that are supposed to be here, that are still on their way. Lord, we ask that you quicken their footsteps, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, every obstruction, every obstacle in their way, Lord, we remove it right now in, in Jesus' name. Lord, we agree, oh Lord, Father, those of us here, that in the name of Jesus, their, quick their footsteps be quickened to be here in no time. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that at the end of today, let each and every one of us, whether those that are singing and ministering, or those that are just here to be ministered to, or those that are serving in various capacities, let us say that we have met with you. Lord, we ask for heavenly resources, O oh God, that you send down resources from heaven, be it skill, be it talent be it just facilitating angels whatsoever we need for this afternoon to be an encounter with you lord we ask that it be so in the name of jesus thank you lord for this wonderful opportunity in jesus name we have prayed so we're going to have a few scripture readings just to start this event um first of all like i said just congratulate yourself for being here you could have been doing so many other things. You know what? Just turn to your neighbor and say congratulations. congratulations. I didn't hear that. Congratulations. Okay, and if you have somebody on the other side, say congratulations. congratulations. You know, we have become so much Christian that we actually take these things for granted, seriously. You know, because, you know, we come into the presence of God every week, huh? It's not a big deal. I mean, if you think of a, an earthly king, when you come to a king's house, you know, or a king's palace. Do I need to stand anywhere? Or is it okay. Okay, so when you come to a king's house, you don't, you don't trivialize it. You know what I mean? So always see it as a privilege. Um, re, our first scripture reading that we want to use to declare or to actually affirm why we're here. Psalm, Psalm 100, verse 1. <clears throat> it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, O ye lands. Is somebody here ready to make a joyful noise? Yeah. Is somebody here ready to make a joyful noise? Yeah. Let's get this thing going. It says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. You know, it doesn't matter whether we are 200 or 500. Just make sure that you count. That's all that matters. Is somebody here ready to make a joyful noise? Yeah! Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is him that made us. We did not make ourselves. We are people. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And this is my favorite scripture. It has come up like three times in the last week. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. You know, I was telling some people today, you know, when you come to a king's palace, you know, if, you are the, if, there's a, if there's a gatekeeper there, when you go there and tell the king, I want to see the king, I want to ask him for da 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 da, the, the guy will probably say, okay, you need to make an appointment. Or he'll say, oh, the king is busy. Or something like that. 
But if you go in and say, hey, I've come to thank the king for what he did for me yesterday. I've come to thank the king for even... The gatekeeper would say, okay, you know, David was the king. So he, underst- he wrote this thing because he understands the principles. He said, enter into the gates with thanksgiving. So in other words, that's the key to the gates. Thanksgiving in your heart. And then, into, he, and then he says, enter into his courts with praise. In other words, when they've let you through the gates, then you can start praising. Okay? And then, of course, he says, and be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is for everlasting and, truth, and his truth endureth through all generations. Praise the Lord. Okay, we're still trying to ground what we're doing in scriptures. Bible says in Psalm 65, verse 1, Praise awaited you, O God, in Zion, and unto you shall our vows be paid. Pray. In other words, if God does something and you're about, you know, let's say you make a vow, you just tell him, Lord, you know, the vow is important, but before the vow, we, we want to praise you for what you have done. So, in other words, when you're asking him for something, you just tell him, Lord, do this for me. Your praise is waiting for you. Praise the Lord. And then the final scripture, which is Revelation 1 verse 8. It says, I'll just open it up. It says, you know, to give us a description of the God that we are serving. It says, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. I am the beginning and I am the end. In other words, he is the God who created the solar system. The God who created the universe. The God who created all the galaxies, all the stars. He is the Alpha and he is the Omega. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, are we ready to get this thing started? Yes. And a few more announcements just before we go. Let's do some housekeeping. I just want to do that before we start. Um, so as you can see, there's a video camera here. I've always wanted to be a movie star. And so that means I know I'm, today might be my chance. So just so you know, if you're here, you know, there's a good chance you would find yourself, you know, being made a star today. Praise the Lord. And if that is not part of your dream, you know, then, okay, you may have to just at least stay away from the camera if you know what I mean. But chances are you probably get filmed. And there are notices out there saying exactly what I just said here. And, just, and for some of you that don't know, the washrooms is just out these doors on the left-hand side there. You know, it's, you, you will see it there. There's a male washroom and there's a female washroom as, there as well. You're welcome. Praise the Lord. 